got to be kidding. You just ate a giant cheese sandwich five minutes ago. But Kitty Tummy still feels empty. Hmm. Maybe it's not your tummy that's hungry, but something else. While I whip something up, let's explore this mystery. Why do we feel hungry? Zoom in! Have you ever heard your stomach growl in class and thought, I must be starving? Turns out, that familiar rumble might not be what you think. Hunger is way more than just an empty tummy. It's a whole body message, written in hormones and nerves, and sent straight to your brain's snack station. Let's refine to a couple of hours after lunch. Your body gets to work like a cleanup crew. A special set of contractions called the Migrating Motor Complex, MMC, begins flushing leftovers through your intestines. This tidy up job takes about two hours. As the final cleaning wave rolls through, a hormone called motilin gets released. It's the one responsible for that rumble. What scientists call Borborygmus. But your brain doesn't just respond to sound. A sneaky little hormone called ghrelin, your body's hunger text message, is made in your stomach and travels to your brain's hypothalamus, where it rings the dinner bell. Ghrelin activates special neurons called AGRP neurons, which are key players in your body's hunger signaling system, making you want to devour anything you can get your hands on. But here's something even cooler. Your stomach doesn't always call the shots. Sometimes, hunger starts in your blood. When important nutrients like glucose, amino acids or fatty acids dip too low, your blood vessels send signals to the brain's huge center. So, even if your stomach and intestines are still working just fine, your body senses the nutrient shortage and says, we are low on fuel. But wait, here's the weird part. You can be full and still feel hungry. Why? Because hunger doesn't always mean need. Sometimes it's about want. The smell of pizza or the sizzle of rice can make your brain light up with cravings. Even thinking about food boosts ghrelin. It's like your brain gets FOMO when it sees a snack. Your body has a whole communication system to manage all this. The vagus nerve sends updates about how full your stomach is and how many nutrients are in your blood. Meanwhile, levels of leptin, a hormone that tells you to stop eating, drop when you haven't eaten for a while. If your blood sugar, your brain's favorite fuel, gets too low, your body flips the panic switch. It releases cortisol and adrenaline, stress hormones that give you energy, but also make you moody or hangry. That's your body saying, emergency, feed me now. And here's another twist. Sometimes we crave junk food because it makes us feel good, fatty, Sugar treats release chemicals in your brain that create a tiny high, just like rewards. This used to help our ancestors survive famines. But today, it's one reason behind obesity. So next time you're hungry, ask yourself, is this real hunger or brain hunger? Either way, your body is sending messages some for fuel, some for fun. Just make sure to listen wisely. Trivia time! Did you know sickness can make you lose your appetite on purpose? Yes! 
When you're sick, your immune system releases chemicals called cytokines that reduce hunger so your body can focus on fighting infection. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Vihan Natekar. Hope you had food for thought today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Tummy pool, it is cool. Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs>